Today we are demonstrating Unitech Scientific's Enalyzer Wine Analyzer, a batch analyzer, to test wine samples for both malic acid and free SO2. As part of this demo, we'll show the use of the StatFax Capture software on our PC to create a text file of our Enalyzer data. We're, we're using Unitech's malic acid Unitab reagent kit to test two wine samples and we're including a control to monitor our assay performance. First a note on sample prep. If testing fermentation samples, filter or centrifuge the sample prior to testing. We need clear wine samples. The test procedure for malic acid is much like most Unitec enzymatic reagent kits. Our initial reading step records the color of the wine sample and working reagent mixture. After adding the start enzyme, the final reading step records the reaction color. The change in absorbance is used to automatically calculate grams per liter based on the standard result. Enalyzer makes this easy. Let's have a look. Today we're including a low standard, a 0.1 malic acid standard in our assay to monitor our assay performance. We expect to obtain a result within 15% of this known concentration. The first step is to assemble our materials. We have the Enalyzer wine analyzer, test tubes in a test tube rack. We have three adjustable pipe headers and tips to cover the range of volumes needed. We have an Enalyzer application sheet for malic acid and we have removed our reagent kit from the refrigerator and are ready to go. We also have deionized water, our wine samples and our control ready. You can refer to your own Enalyzer free or malic acid application sheet as we go through the, the demo. Contact Unitech to get a copy. The second step is to prepare the malic acid working reagent. Let's look at the kit contents. The malic acid Unitab kit contains reagent tablets, malic acid buffer, the trigger enzyme or start enzyme, and the 0.2 gram per liter standard. We're going to plan enough working reagent to test five tubes. We've a map of the tube showing the location of the blank, the standard, our control, which will be 0.1 gram per liter standard, the white wine and the red wine. First we will dissolve one tablet in five mils of malic acid buffer. For larger assays you may want to use a graduated cylinder to measure 10, 15 or 20 mils of buffer. But today we're going to use the AP 200 to two, 100 to 1000 uh, mic adjustable pipe header. We're setting it at 1000, that's 1000 microliters to dispense one mil of working reagent per tube. And we use the blue pipette tip. So we repeatedly pipette, aspirate from the reagent bottle into our working reagent container five times and we allow 15 to 20 minutes for the malic acid tablet to dissolve. So we'll gently swirl it periodically during that time to encourage the dissolution. With the reagents prepared we're going to turn on the analyzer power. It plays us a song and we're going to look at the startup screen. The next step, since we're capturing the data on our PC today, will be to connect the printer cable to the back of the analyzer. The other end of the cable, the USB end, is inserted in our PC. Now we open the Statfax capture software on our PC. The screen opens and we're ready to select the test on the analyzer screen. From the startup screen we select run test. 
malic acid is test number three. We're going to scroll to test three and select. Enalyzer is warming the lamp and is going to ask us how much header we'd like to print. We'll print a full header today. Yes. We've run a malic acid test previously, so it's asking us whether we should accept or discard the curve. We're going to run a fresh curve today. It's been more than three hours since the last assay. We select discard. It asks for how many samples we'll run. We calculate samples including the assay control. So that's the control, red wine and white wine, or three. Enter. The analyzer is now ready for us to prepare test tubes and insert the blank tube. Notice that the assay name has been captured on our PC, on the StatPax capture software. This is the first part of creating a PC record of the malic acid results. Now we're going to uh, prepare the reaction tubes, the test tubes. We're going to be using the uh, AP 20 to 200 pipetter set at 25 microliters. It, it uses a yellow tip. Now we pipette 25 microliters of DI water into the blank tube. 25 microliters of 0.2 gram per liter malic standard into the standard tube and we pipette the control, our low malic standard, the 0.1, into the control tube and we'll be following this procedure by pipetting 25 microliters of white wine and then red wine into the appropriate tubes. After each unknown sample, we change the pipette tip so that we do not carry over a high malic sample into the next assay. So with the pipetting of the red wine sample, our samples are in the five tubes and we'll be adding one mil of working reagent into each of the tubes. First we'll swirl the working reagent to assure that the tablet is dissolved. It may take another few minutes for the, for the reaction mixture to become a solution. We're using the AP 100 to 1000 set at 1000, 1000 microliters or 1 mil. And we repeatedly pipette 1 mil into each of the five tubes. Malic acid, like our other enzymatic tests, incubates at 37 degrees. We have a 37 degree incubator on the enolizer. So we'll be placing the tube, mixing the reaction and placing the tubes in the incubating area. We let them warm for three minutes or so. We'll set the timer today for three minutes. Let's look at the analyzer application sheet for an overview of this procedure. We've already accomplished the addition of 25 microliters of sample, followed by one mil of working reagent. We've set the timer and we're incubating the tubes at 37 degrees. The next step, when the time is up, will be to start the reaction using the trigger enzyme. Now that the three minute incubation is complete, we'll read the initial absorbance of each of the tubes. Notice that the analyzer is prompting us. First, for the blank tube, now insert standard. Be careful not to remove the tube until analyzer signals that. Insert sample one, this is our control. Remove tube. 
insert sample two. This is the white one. Remove tube and insert the third sample. And remove when prompted. Now that we have the initial reading, we're going to start the reaction. We remove the, we're using AP2 to 20 pipetter and a clear tip set at 20. That's 20 microliters to dispense the trigger enzyme. The dropper bottle has a tip, uh, dropper tip in it which has been removed. We're pipetting directly out of the bottle, 20 microliters into each tube. Because we're using the same pipette tip, we're careful not to have the tip go beneath the surface of the reaction so that we do not contaminate our, our reagents. After addition of each enzyme, we swirl the tube and replace it in the incubator. This final 37 degree incubation for 20 minutes allows the reaction to complete. And by getting 20 microliters into the last tube, we now set our timer for 20 minutes. As the timer uh, keeps track of our incubation time, we're going to take a break, finish up some other lab work, and be back shortly. Our 20 minute incubation period is over. According to our Enwiser application, we'll be reading the final absorbance values. The Enwiser is prompting us to insert reagent blank. Remove two. Insert standard. Remove two. The analyzer analyzes our standard curve. We notice the initial and final absorbances look reasonable. We accept. The analyzer asks insert sample one. That's our control. Insert sample two, our white pine. <coughs> and insert sample three. Eno Enalyzer has recorded the final absorbance, is calculating the difference between the first reading and the second reading to give us a net absorbance. These net absorbances are used in conjunction with the blank and standard to calculate the grams per liter of each of the white samples. The StatFacts capture software has also captured this information on our PC. So in addition to the printed ticket, we have the text file on our PC. If any of the results is flagged as out of range high, in this case greater than 1.5 grams per liter malic acid, we would dilute that wine sample with DI water and multiply the result by the dilution factor. For example, a threefold dilution would be one part wine plus two parts water. The dilution factor would be three. Now, if we were done for the day, we would clean up the reaction tubes. We can rewash the tubes and let them dry, wash them under running water three times and let them dry overnight. We would turn the analyzer power off and cover it with the dust cover and set it on the shelf. We are, this does conclude the demo of our malic acid batch of wine tests. We will now set up our demo of free SO2 analysis on the analyzer. Please look up our analyzer free SO2 testing presented as a separate YouTube video. Thank you.